Welcome to our tutorials on GarageBand version 10.1. This is part three, and as I've mentioned in the previous episodes, uh, these tutorials are primarily intended for my students at Colorado Mesa University. However, I believe they will be useful to anyone who watches them because they are fairly universal. Uh, there are a few points that I may make, uh, such as where to save files and how to use the program that relate specifically to the assignments we're doing in class, but most of the tutorials should be relevant to uh, anyone who watches. In this episode, we're going to talk about how to record a track and how to edit a track that we create through a voice recording or through the microphone. If you followed the instructions I used in the for episodes one and two of these tutorials, uh, you'll see that you have one track called an audio one track. Um, if you'd like another track, or if it doesn't show this little icon next to it, you may need to create a new track for this tutorial. To delete a track that you've created right here, if to delete that, you could go to track and delete track. Up will come this system that asks, or this uh, menu that asks what type of track you want to create. And in uh, our earlier tutorials, I told you to go ahead and click on this microphone track. But if you click on the software instrument track, you'll get a software instrument that you can play as though it's a piano or a synthesizer or a guitar uh, that will play uh, using your Mac keyboard or the keyboard that comes up on the screen. Uh, you can also hook an instrument to GarageBand and play like an electric guitar or a MIDI uh, type instrument. Or you can use the drum pads that are built in to create a beat uh, or rhythm or loop for your uh, track as well. For our tutorials, we're going to be using the microphone track. And you click Create. And that, that gets us to where we started this tutorial. You now have a track called Audio One. In order to keep these all separate, and especially if you're new to GarageBand, it may be a good idea to rename this file to Voice Track or introduction, something like that, so that you can keep it separate from the other tracks we'll be using. To do that, you just double click on the name of the track, and then you can type in voice track. I talked about these other buttons in part two of this GarageBand tutorial, so we'll just skip on to the part where we're actually creating the track. Your track will begin recording wherever you have this playhead set. When you're working with multiple tracks, sometimes you want to move the playhead down so that your recording will begin exactly where you want it. However, you can move that recording at any time, so it's not uh, necessary to have the playhead exactly where you need it before you begin recording. We'll just move it back to the beginning here, since that's where we're going to start. When I record this voice track, I'm going to make some intentional mistakes because we need something to edit out later as I'm showing you those tutorials on editing. So to begin, we're just going to record a track and uh, we'll make some mistakes along the way. It's easy to do. All I need you to do is record a simple introduction to yourself. So we'll do something like this. Hi, this is Adam Cochran. I'm an instructor of Colorado Ma Yep, messed up. My name's Adam Cochran. Uh, uh, I'm an instructor of mass communication at Colorado, at Colorado Mesa University. Thank you very much for joining this program. There it is. We made some mistakes along the way. There's a lot we're going to have to edit out to make that nice and clean. Um, of course, sometimes it's easier to just go back and undo or, or re-record another voice track. But uh, the purpose of this is to show you how to edit. So that's where we're at. We now have this voice track recorded. And as I mentioned before, if you click and hold on the title bar there at the top, you can move it back and forth and place that voice track anywhere you'd like. And so when the playhead starts back at zero, uh, we can hit play right here. Or I prefer to hit the space bar to play and stop. So if you hit the space bar, it begins playing. I'll move the mouse off so you can see that happening. Hi, this is Adam Cochran. I'm an instructor of Colorado Ma Yep, messed up. My name's Adam Cochran. Uh, uh, I'm an instructor of mass communication at Colorado at Colorado Mesa University. Thank you very much for joining this program. There it is. I have a very terrible introduction there. Uh, it definitely needs edited. So to get into editing and how that works, 
go ahead and skip ahead. This is a, a very short tutorial. Skip to part four and we'll talk about how to edit a track.